Hi, my name is Spencer and I'm an admissions expert here at Top Test Prep. Today I'd like to talk to you about summer break. Uh, and when you're in uh, high school, summer break is of course a time to relax. Uh, you've been busy all year and uh, everybody knows that growing minds need sleep. But uh, that doesn't mean that there aren't a few things you can do um, to have a summer that's both productive and fun. The first thing you can do to have a fun and productive summer is read. Um, and it really doesn't matter what. Uh, I think that a lot of students, when they think of reading, they think of uh, a history textbook or something like that. But reading during the summer does not have to mean dragging out your copy of the American pageant. Um, you can read anything, anything that excites you, anything that you enjoy. Um, so read novels, read science fiction, read fantasy, uh, read Ray Bradbury. Um, you can read comic books, graphic novels, um, journalism online, read the paper with breakfast maybe in the afternoon, whenever you want. Um, it really, really doesn't matter what you read. Um, the important thing is to keep reading um, and enjoy yourself. The second thing you can do is pursue a hobby. Uh, and by a hobby, I don't necessarily mean bug collecting or collage making. Um, I don't really know uh, because I'm not sure what you're most passionate about, about and what you uh, enjoy the most. Um, so your hobby could be water skiing or mountain biking or medical research or gardening. Because um, uh, this is really where productivity and fun collide, I think. Um, if you do what you enjoy, then you'll also be building a strong interest outside of the classroom. And that sort of passion and engagement in something unique is one of the most important components of any good college application. The third thing you can do, um, and I know this isn't going to sound quite as laissez-faire, but the third thing that you can do is to think about college. Um, I think during the year, uh, you're so busy that uh, it, it can be hard enough to keep track of everything you need to do, let alone think about the future. Um, so I think one of the most important things you can do early on in high school during the summer is think about college. Think about what you want to get out of college. Um, try to imagine yourself there and imagine what would make you most happy during those four years. Um, and I think if you do so, uh, you'll not only have an easier time coming up with a, a list of where you'd like to apply when the time comes, uh, but you'll also have a stronger application because you'll know why you want to go to a school, why you want to go to college in general, what you want to get out of it, and that's something that admissions, office, admissions officers uh, really do like to see. Um, so if you're a sophomore, I would recommend just kind of thinking vaguely about the future. If you're a junior, you should be getting a list together, um, thinking about where you're going to apply and, um, and how you're going to go about it. If you're a senior, you should be prepping for a test or uh, starting on your essays. Um, but earlier on in high school, I think that summer is most importantly a time for uh, reflection and, uh, and thinking about the future um, because it's going to come faster than, uh, than you imagine. If you'd like to learn more about what you can do during the summer and uh, all year, give us a call at 1-800-501-7737 or visit our website at www toptestprep.com.